Anderson, you pitched the story. It's a very serious story about a little girl who was mauled by two pit bulls. What do you got? Yeah, four-year-old Harmony Hollier is fighting for her life right now after being brutally attacked by two pit bulls. And her mother says that she feels like people need to know that these dogs are dangerous. So I went to New Brunswick to speak to Quadira Banks. She told me that the dogs lived at the home where her children went to be with the babysitter. They were her aunt's dogs, and they had been around the children in the past with no problem. For some reason on this particular day, the babysitter ignored the aunt's explicit instructions not to bring the dogs in the house while the children were there. Babysitter opened the door. The two dogs immediately and viciously attacked the four-year-old while her brother stood there helping. So what happened? They just came in the house? And then, and then they jumped on her. On your little sister? And they started biting her. She was screaming for a little bit, but then she stopped. And, there was, and they dragged her from the back door to the living room. And there was blood all over. Police arrived on the scene pretty quickly. They shot and killed the two dogs. But Harmony is just the latest attack victim that has mothers and many across the country arguing that pit bulls are just too unpredictable to be pets. Quadira told me that she believes that even in the best of circumstances, pit bulls can attack without provocation. And that's what she saw in this situation. She doesn't want any more children or any more parents to have to deal with what they're currently dealing with. There was a big hole in her right cheek from one side, from one of the dogs, and the other dog got her neck. And it don't matter how long you know them, whether you're comfortable with them, they're family dogs, that they can just snap at any time. Their mind does not think like humans. After having her cheek and neck viciously attacked, Harmony now is facing six months of surgery. They say recovery and prayer in hope that she'll recover. And her mother has found herself as the latest person to argue, does it matter if it's the fault of the owner? Does it matter if it's the fault of the dog when pit bulls themselves are disproportionately responsible for attacks? Is it time to do something about the dog? Bill, before we get into the conversation about the dogs, just for context, as you explained to me before, there was a babysitter at home. She was given explicit instructions not to let the dogs inside the house. And I understand she opened the door uh, to let the dogs in because it was raining. And even the little boy, the little brother who saw this happen, said, you're not supposed to do that. So there is something, and there's another component of the story that someone didn't act as responsibly as they could have. For every time you hear about one of these these attacks. It's not the collie did this, the black Labrador did that. It's always a damn pit bull. And I own always. a pit bull, and I agree that you hear more and more about this. When I was a kid, it was a Doberman Pinscher. Those were the dogs that you were afraid of. I mean, I remember that. Having said that, I think the biggest problem is we treat animals like their family, like they're these cuddly, furry little pets, and I don't think we have enough education out there that they are animals. They are, uh, they are setting up an account to try to raise funds. This is a young lady who's going to need significant medical care. Mother asks for thoughts, prayers, and we'll let you know how to make donations. Our thoughts and prayers are absolutely with this little girl. What a terrible tragedy.